annals of history, there are dark chapters that still haunt us. After the end of the World War, there are many war criminals who have not been punished, and can live freely. Today, we will discuss the Nazi war criminals, who have the cruel and most wanted crimes in the world. Born in Ukraine, Demyanyuk immigrated to the United States. After World War II, he became a naturalized American citizen in the 1950s. He worked for many years at the Ford Automotive Factory in Ohio. His claim is that while he was a German prisoner of war, Demyanyuk voluntarily joined the SS unit, where he was involved in Operation Reinhardt. Fellow prisoners also often knew him as Ivan the Terrible. Although no one knew Demyanyuk had served in Treblinka, they consistently mentioned Ivan Machenko. Finally, in 2011, after a lengthy trial process in the United States, Israel, and Germany, new evidence was found that implicated him in the murder of 28,000 cases at the Sobibor concentration camp in Poland in 1943. On May 12, 2011, Demianyuk was found guilty and sentenced to five years in prison. He was released pending an appeal of his conviction, but he died in a nursing home in Germany on March 17, 2012. As a Hungarian police officer in the city of Kosas in 1944, Sadri is alleged to have organized the deportation of more than 15,000 Jews to Auschwitz. A Czechoslovak court sentenced Sadri, in absentia, to death in 1948. After the war ended, he fled to Canada, where he worked as an art dealer until 1997. After Canadian authorities discovered that he had lied on his passport application and revoked his citizenship, Sadri went into hiding for another decade until he was arrested in Budapest in 2012 dubbed the most wanted fugitive by the Simon Wiesenthal Center in 2011, the 98-year-old Sadri passed away while awaiting trial under house arrest in 2013. Following the precedent set by Demianyuk's 2011 conviction, German authorities launched a renewed campaign to bring in some 50 suspected former guards at Auschwitz-Birkenau. The first person to face charges in 2013 was 93-year-old Hans Lipskus, who had lived in Chicago for nearly three decades after World War II, before being deported for lying about his Nazi past. Hans Lipskus was an SS member who worked at the Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II. Prosecutors allege that Lipskus worked as a guard at Auschwitz from 1941 to 43, although he insists that he was only a cook. In February 2014, a German court decided that Lipskus, suffering from dementia, was not fit to stand trial. Lipskus later passed away on June 16, 2016, at the age of 96. Vladimir Katriak is number two on the Simon Wiesenthal Center's list of the most wanted Nazi war criminals. Katriak allegedly involved in the killing of civilians in the Soviet village of Katyn. At the time, villagers were locked inside a burning barn, and Katriak was accused of shooting dead the villagers, who ran from the burning barn. Katriak had immigrated to Canada in the 1950s, and in 1999, a Canadian court found that he had lied about his past to gain entry into the country. In May 2015, as Russian authorities tried to extradite Katriak to try him for his alleged war crimes, the 93-year-old beekeeper died in Quebec, after a long illness. Out of all the surviving Nazi war criminals, Gerhard Sommer currently tops the Simon Wiesenthal Center's most wanted list. In 1944, Sommer was a soldier in the 16th SS Panzer Division, when he was allegedly involved in the massacre of 560 civilians, including 119 children, in Italy. Over the years, attempts were made to try him in Germany, and prosecutors in Hamburg said he was deemed worthy of 342 counts of murder, committed violently and with indecent motives. 
However, in 2015, he was declared unfit for trial in Germany due to severe dementia. Sommer then passed away in 2019 at the age of 97 to 98. As an officer in the Nazi-sponsored security police of Lithuania, Daylight is alleged to have captured 12 Jewish people who were trying to escape from Vilna, a Jewish ghetto in the city of Vilnius, in the early 1940s. He is believed to have handed the SKP over to the Nazis, who likely executed the SKP. After the war, Daylight sought refuge in the United States, saying that she was a forestry expert. In America, she worked as a real estate agent in Florida in the 1990s. When the US government discovered his Nazi past, he was deported from America. Although a Vilnius court sentenced him for war crimes, the Lithuanian government decided not to imprison him because he was very old and posed no danger to society. Meanwhile, he ranked fourth on the Simon Wiesenthal Center's most wanted list.